everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video for you. It is a rehousing with my C. elegans. Fortunately, there was a little bit of a mold outbreak in there, so I decided to just kind of trash all of the substrate and replace it. Normally, I don't have to do that. Really, you can just kind of pluck out pieces of mold and you'll be all right as long as you increase some ventilation, but in this case, it kind of seemed a little overtaken. So I decided to throw in a couple little bits and pieces, some updates, some footage that I've taken and I've never shared with you guys. I thought maybe some people would find it of value or entertaining or whatever. Stay tuned throughout the whole video and you'll just see little bits and pieces of things. <laughs> So yeah, that is really gross. I thought this was webbing, but as it's grown, I see it is gross mold. Now what I think happened is that there wasn't any ventilation that I made in this yet because I literally had just taken her back and then she molted. Since she molted, I'm gonna do a bigger enclosure and uh, after I film this, I'm gonna put some ventilation up here. Hopefully that will prevent this from happening again. So I'm not sure if it was the leaves that made the mold grow or the fact that I didn't poke any ventilation holes in it yet, but like it literally happens so fast. It's insane. So I'm not gonna use those leaves in this. I'm gonna actually just use some fake ones. So this is, will be her new home. And I'm hoping she won't give me too much trouble, but she is a little skittish. So I'm gonna try to go ahead and do that in this. I have a teeny, 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 tiny little catch cup. She is beautiful. She is just so beautiful. There you go. So yeah, I think that this is a really nice enclosure and I'm glad that I have a bigger one. Maybe we can try to feed her really quick and see if she'll take it. So I see her under this leaf. Where did she go? Oh, there she is. Oh, geez. Sorry, girl. Well, I crushed its little head, so she can go back to that later. I think she's just a little spooked from her enclosure change, so that's all right. I do actually have a clip of her eating, though, when I first got her, so I'll insert that. There we are, from this icky mold to this nice new enclosure. Okay, so this next footage is actually some handling of a couple of my tarantulas that I picked up. It was from when I went to the most recent Show Me Snakes Expo a couple weeks back, and I had some friends visit from out of town. Amy, Quentin, and Ian from the Tarantula Community Facebook group actually came over that night and helped me rehouse all five of my tarantulas, which I am super grateful for. It was very fortunate that they were in town and able to do that with me. Most beautiful slings there are. You know, 
subjectively the most beautiful. He looks like he has a, a cast on. Okay, he's gonna, he wants he wants to jump. Hmm? He's thinking about it. Oh, I should get picture? the slow make motion on. Oh, I tried to get it to jump. It wouldn't. No, they won't jump when you touch. But him. you can't get bit by. So oh, I actually I did get bit by something this big, but I pinned it against my skin on accident. T violations. Or, you know, what you could do is just get, like, smallest crickets you could find and just, like, smash their head and throw it in there. Yeah. And slings that size. Oh, it just jumped like a... Uh, yeah, he did. Where, what um, did I do with the lid? I don't know. Oh, here. Slings that size scavenge mostly in the... What is it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I hate those little I wonder butters. if Nick would be able to tell me what species this is. It'd be really easy to find out. Missouri. Yeah, it'll take like two seconds. There's only like 30 you, something species of spider. Yep, it's right behind you. you see it's it? Hogna something. Hogna something. I don't know about that orange stripe. It might be Hogna carolinensis. That makes sense. It's still young. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. That's a this year baby. This next clip is something that I was kind of going to omit from my channel, but I thought this might be kind of cool to share. In my aquarium, I noticed that I had some mystery snail eggs. At first, I thought it was mold, and then upon closer inspection, I saw that it was some sort of eggs. Anyway, um, it's that was like maybe a month or two ago, and I thought that they just were all bad and that I wasn't going to get any babies until I just recently discovered a baby inside of my aquarium, and I thought you guys might like that. I think I see a baby. Wait, maybe not. I don't know. Right there. Oh my goodness, look, it's a baby snail. Oh my gosh, how cool is that? It's a baby just like you. Yeah, and there's your artwork. Um, that's not escargot, you need to back up. So yesterday my whip scorpion molted and fortunately it grew back one of its back legs, but unfortunately it lost one of its weird feeler things. So it looks like my whip scorpion has molted and if you can see, one of the back legs is a little bit smaller than the other. That is actually because it grew it back with the molt. You can also tell that the color is much more vibrant than it was before the molt. Also yesterday, my husband fed all of the snakes and our ball python mistook him for a mouse, just probably because he still had the scent on his hands. So he got his first snake bite. She's getting it down really good now. Yeah, she kind of made a little bit of a- Oh! <laughs> Did she get you? Yeah. She kind of made a little bit of a mess. There, this like whole thing smells like mouse right now. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit random, but like I said, there was just different bits and pieces of things that I wanted to include in videos that I never really got the opportunity to kind of fit in them, so here they are now. With all that said, I do have an unboxing coming soon. So I normally don't order things because we have Expo so frequently here and Ruth from Mostly Reptiles really is good at spoiling me and finding me what I want. But a friend of mine is ordering a few things from Palp Friction and they have something that I've been wanting for so long. And I thought about ordering it before, but I'm a little bit of a cheapskate. I hate paying shipping. So I asked him if he would do me the favor and just slide it in his order, which he agreed to. So it's supposed to be here very soon. And I will do an unboxing for you guys and show you what it is. I also am working on a really awesome collab and it's with a couple channels that I know that you all probably know. So stay tuned for that as well. So I made an Instagram for just my spiders only. It is at tarantula.cat 
and I will be posting daily tarantula photographs. I hope that you guys enjoy it. I have been wanting to have like a dedicated Instagram for a a while and I finally took the plunge and I'm so glad that I did so please go follow my Instagram and like I said I will be posting updates there different photographs things of that nature and I hope that you guys like it because if you didn't know I did go to school for, for <laughs> I did go to school for photography I love photographing my tarantulas and even though most of the time I just use my cell phone and not my DSLR I think a lot of my photographs turn out really cool so please go check it out and follow me all right, so I think that is it. See you guys next time.